A group of researchers came deep in the forest in search of a spider which they discovered that it has a magical healing ability. Susan one of the researchers who was told by a doctor that her unborn child is not healthy and will suffer a terrible illness was among the researchers and she was very determined to find the spider so that she could use it and cure her unborn child. In their camp in the forest, Franklin one of the researchers sneakily came to where Susan keeps her things and started checking it he could find any trace of the spider in it. As he was searching he heard Susan's voice so he rushed outside. Susan excitedly told them that she has found the spider and showed them the spider which she has put in a container. Immediately she showed them the spider Franklin brought out a gun and killed all the other researchers, he pointed the gun at Susan and told her to give him the spider, Susan was has not recovered from the shock of Franklin killing their colloque instinctively refused to give him the spider, Franklin approached her and tried to collect the spider from her but Susan didn't let go, Franklin shot her and then left with the spider. As Franklin left a member of an ancient tribe called the Spider Tribe that has received the power of the spider and lives in the forest came and carried Susan away. In the Spider Tribe, they tried to save Susan but couldn't save her, but they were able to save her child, one of the elder if the Spider Tribe who has obtained power to see the future from the spider prophesied that Susan's daughter will come back to the Spider Tribe when she grows up to fulfill her destiny. Many years later, Maya Susan's daughter grew up in the motherless baby home and started leaving by herself when she started working with the ambulance. One day Maya went to see one of her friend that is pregnant, Maya saw when they are playing a game which is to guess what another person have in mind, Maya got back to her senses and realized that they didn't really play the game and that it was just what she was thinking, but soon one of the girls suggested that they play the exact same game that Maya saw in her mind and they played the game exactly as Maya saw it. Maya was confused because she didn't understand how she saw what they were going to do even before they did it. Just then Maya received a call that they have to rescue some people injured in a burning house and she immediately left. When they got there Maya started trying to save one of the victim but as she was saving the victim she saw one of her colleague's car being hit by a truck and he died. Maya was scared but then she realized that what she saw didn't happen and that it was just what she was thinking. She remembered how she saw what was going to happen on her friend's house and immediately rushed to stop her colleague from going out with a car but her colleague told her that nothing will happen to him, he entered the car and just before he drove far a truck with great speed hit his car and he died instantly. Maya cried and blamed herself for the death of her colleague but but James her closest colleague consoled her and told her that it was not her fault. Using the power from the spider Franklin has now become a very wealthy and powerful man. One night as he was sleeping with his wife he saw when three girls who has the same supernatural power that the spider give ganged up and killed him. When he woke up from the dream he told his wife about the dream and told her that he saw a vision and that three girls killed him. He described how the three girls looks like to a computer wizard that works with him and with determination to find the three girls and kill them before they kill him. Maya was still confused. She didn't know what was happening to her and how she was able to see the future. She went to a box that her mother left for her and started reading it. She found out that her mother was researching about a spider that can give supernatural ability like seeing the future, having a strong body and even crawling on a wall like a spider. Maya started thinking that maybe she obtained the supernatural ability from the spider. She tried crawling on a wall and she fell down. That day, she saw another vision of Franklin killing three girls. Maya said to herself that she has to save the three girls and that she will not let more people die when she can prevent it. She prepared and went to the exact place she saw in her vision. She entered a train and sat down waiting for the girls to arrive. As she was waiting, she saw Franklin coming her direction and recognized him as the man that killed the three girls in her dream. Maya ran out of the train and just then she met the three girls, she dragged them and started running with them. The three girls were confused and started complaining but Maya told them that she will explain to them later, they tried to resist but when they saw Franklin crawling in a wall and walking toward them they started running with Maya immediately, Franklin chased them but the police were alerted and he wasn't able to catch them. The three girls who were Cassandra, Julie and Mary entered Maya's car and they drove away, the three girls were confused why Franklin was chasing them. Cassandra told Maya to stop the car that she wants to go but Maya refused and told her that she don't know why but Franklin will find and kill her if she walks on the street again. She drove them to a nearby forest and they stopped there. The three girls have many questions to ask but Maya could not answer them so they started thinking that maybe Franklin was after Maya and not them and that Maya bringing trouble to them. 
Maya remembered how Franklin was crawling on the wall and remembered what her mother wrote in her research about the spiders that can give the ability to crawl on the wall. She told the three girls to wait for her in the forest and that she might be able to find out who the man is. She warned them not to leave the forest and they agreed, but as soon as Maya left they all left the forest and went to a nearby bar. As soon as they entered the bar they were detected by Franklin's girl and Franklin immediately went after them. Maya went back to her house and started going through her mother's research book again. She found the location of the spider tribe in the research book and then went back to the forest. When she got back to the forest she found out that the three girls are no longer there. Just then she saw another vision of Franklin killing the three girls in the nearby bar, so she rushed to the bar. The three girls are now in the bar having fun. When Franklin entered the bar they were all frightened and wanted to run away, but they couldn't escape from Franklin. Just then Maya drove into the bar and hit Franklin with the car. She told the three girls to enter the cat immediately and they drove away. The three girls now realized that Franklin was really after them and that Maya was trying to save them apologize to Maya for leaving the forest. They lodged in a motel and that night they all talked about their background and they found out that they all have something in common which is that they don't have parents. That night Maya saw a vision when she went out and met Franklin and Franklin told her that she should not stop him from killing those three girls because they will kill him in the future if he don't kill them now. He threatened Maya that he will kill her just like he killed her mother if she tries to stand on her way. When Maya woke up she came to understand why Franklin wanted to kill the three girls and that Franklin was the one that killed her mother. The next morning Maya told the three girls not to go out and then went to the location that the spider's tribe leaves. When she got there everywhere was silent and she thought that they spider tribe doesn't exist, but just then one of the spider tribe member came and told her welcome back. Maya was surprised why he was telling her welcome back and the spider tribe man told her that she was born in the spider tribe and that he knew that she will come back when she grows up. He took Maya where she was born and explained to her how Franklin killed her mother. He told Maya that she has more power than any of the spider tribe member because she is the only one that can change the future after seeing it. He used the power of the spider tribe to let Maya reunite with her mother for a moment and Maya became determined to avenge her mother after reuniting with her for that moment. The spider tribe man told her to believe in herself that she has more power than she can imagine. When Maya got back, Together with the three girls, they deliberately made Franklin to detect them and went inside a house with a lot of explosives, they lit all the explosives and ran upstairs to enter the helicopter that is already waiting for them, but before they could reach the top of the building Franklin came and started fighting them, they were no match for Franklin and so they started losing the fight. As Franklin was almost about to kill them all Maya got angry and power erupted from her body. She divided herself into four and saved the three girls with three of her body while she fight Franklin with her main body. As they were fighting, Maya told Franklin that he has been wrong all this while and that she is the one who will kill him and not the three girls just then a big ion that was falling from the building due to the impact from the explosives hit Franklin and he fell from the building, more ion fell from the building and killed him. The three girls not having any other family member became family after the death of Franklin. The end. Don't forget to like this video. Subscribe and hit the notification bell for more videos like this. Thank you.